All right, let's start this up. So um, if you've actually downloaded the latest file, tutorial5.expo proj, uh, then I'll just give you a run through of how it is. But if you want to continue on from tutorial four, there's a couple of changes you have to make. Show project navigator. Now the first one. Products, group, ambient, assets, Swift, Swift source. So we're going into assets.swift, all right? I went to the project navigator. Move focus, you editor, source code, insertion. Moving into the editor. Slap, slap. New, import new line. Var steps equals left bracket SCN audio source right bracket. So we got the steps. Uh, these we're not going to use. Var types equals left bracket SCN audio source right bracket left parent right parent. So I've created a new array called types. So types will be basically uh, the typewriter uh, sound files, which I have added inside the project inside the folder sounds. Uh, so I have type zero up to type seven. Var, var types equals left bracket SCN audio source right bracket left parent right parent. So this is an array of SCN audio sources. And so I need to attach a function to it in order to load it inside the game view controller. Var, var, var speeches equals left bracket var current speech equals zero. New line. Funk load steps left parent right parent left four in one tap source new line. Funk load typewriter left parent new line. So load typewriter. Unfold methods. Funk load typewriter left parent right parent left brace. Okay, so it has no output. All it does, it actually uh, takes all of the files inside the URL and then places them into the array. 4 in 0, 7, left brace. So 4 in 0, dot, 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 7. So that means uh, i is going to be from 0 to 7. I'm going to use that as a variable because my files will be called type 0 up to type 7. Left source equals SCN audio source, left parent file name colon, quote type underline backslash left parent right parent dot mp3, quote right parent. Okay, so let source equals SCN audio source. I initiate one and the source name will be the data path. Uh, actually, it will be a uh, type and then backslash left parent i right parent dot mp3. Source dot loops equals false. Source dot loops equals false. Source dot volume equals 5.0. Uh, I set up the volume as quite high uh, on this one. You can just uh, calibrate it the way you want. Types dot append left parent source right parent. So types dot append source. Right brace. Left carriage equals SCN audio source. So this is basically exactly the same as, um, as, uh, as the steps. Uh, you know, the way to load it, but there's an extra uh, thing to it. If you know the uh, typewriters, when you want to go through a new line, you know, you have to take this little lever, push it on the left and back on the right. So this mechanic sound, I'm going to load to. Right, left carriage equals SCN audio source, left parent file name colon, quote carriage, return, dot mp3, quote right parent. So this file is called carriage return. Carriage dot loops equals false. So no looping for this one. Carriage dot volume equals 5.0. And I'll set the same volume as for the types. Types dot append, left parent carriage, right parent. And carriage is going to be the last index, okay? So you're going to have to remember that for later down. When you're going to try to randomize the typing sounds, you will know that the last index, which is 8, uh, is going to be for the carriage return, which is a function we're going to call uh, when, we, um, when we're going to type uh, the return carriage, which is going to be an override. Print right brace. New line. Funk load speech left parent right parent left brace. Let directory equals found. Print left parent do left. Let text equal. Let lines equal. Four item so lines left brace. Speech, File quote. Already got. New line. New line. Uh, but that one we're not going to use. Show project navigator. Project navigator. So the next file Save. you need to change is the audio layer. App, uh, audio layer. Swift product. Audio layer. Swift. Swift source. Move focus. Editor limited. Source code. Slash slash fold methods. Close, fold all of the the functions. Slash 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 slash. slash, slash import AV found. Import scene. Import Coco. New line. Extension game view control. New line. Funk wire system left parent right parent. So inside wire system, uh, things pretty new much line. stay the same. Funk load speak left parent right parent dash the audio PCM buffer left new line. So load speak this time, uh, whereas in the previous tutorial, what we did is we actually checked, uh, we changed uh, a random. A variable uh, that uh, pretty much you know increased uh, basically from the first um, uh, string uh, spoken string to the next spoken string we're not going to be using this um, after the SEN audio player has ended playing because all we want is it to speak uh, so when you just do things just as voice were voiceover would when the setting in the utility is set so that um, uh, it will speak out at every word all right so at this point, unfold methods. In order to emulate that, funk load speak left parent right do left brace. Let sound file equals try the audio file left parent for reading colon. So we take an audio file. Interleave colon false right parent. So speak buffer equals AV audio PCM buffer left parent PCM format colon sound file dot processing format frame capacity colon. AV audio frame count left parent sound file dot length right parent right parent. So this is a PCM buffer. Try sound file dot read left parent into colon self dot speak buffer right parent. Okay, so we take the sound file and read it into the speak buffer. Okay. Right brace catch left brace right brace return speak buffer right brace. New line. Okay, so that's fine. Fun play speak left parent right parent. Now for play speak. Speak buffer equals load speak left parent right parent. So speak buffer equals load speak because that's the buffer and we want to play it in, uh, put it into an AV audio player node. Speak player. Dot schedule buffer self dot speak buffer. Add colon. No. Options colon. AV audio player node buffer options. interrupts. Okay, so the options are going to be the same. It just interrupts when it plays. Completion handler colon. No right parent. And the completion handler is going to be nil. 
uh, as compared to the previous time where the completion handler had uh, a change of uh, the index inside the array. Speak player dot play left parent right parent and speak player dot play right race new line. What this effectively means is that uh, once the uh, the synthesizer has finished and placed the file, uh, saved the file, and we're going to load it up uh, using the protocol uh, speak did finish uh, instead of actually changing the actual speak value, um, we're actually immediately taking uh, that speak uh, buffer and directly placing it into the, the scheduler. Funk play typewriter left parent end colon. Bo now the next one we're going to do is play typewriter. New line. Funk play typewriter left parent end colon. Bool. Letter colon. String right parent left brace. So I have two ways of using this function. It's going to have two different functions. So when I press the enter, uh, that means I just want the return carriage. And so that means the um, label called end, which is a Boolean, if I set, set it to true, that means it's just going to play the last index of the array, which is types. Otherwise, it's going to play a string. If end, left brace. So if end. Speaker dot audio player, left parent, SCN audio player, left parent, source colon, types, left bracket, eight right bracket, right parent, right parent. Okay, so speaker dot add audio player, so the speaker know uh, where it speaks. I place an SCN audio source and pick the last index of the array types, which is eight. Speech dot speak left parent quote new line quote right parent. And now speech dot speak new line because uh, when we press enter normally in voiceover it says new line, so we'll just tell the speak um, um, AV player node to actually play new line, the word new line. Right brace else left brace. Otherwise, if uh, the end, that means end carriage, returns false, that means we're still typing. Word dot append left parent letter right parent. Word dot append letter. So what is happening is that we have a word that we're typing. So let's say uh, the word cat. So if I type the first letter C, but there's no space in it, well, I just keep a t appending new letters onto that word. Right, word dot append, left parent, letter, right parent. Okay, so word is a string and letter is attached to that string. Speaker dot audio player, left parent, SE and audio player, left parent, source colon, types, left bracket, left parent, arc four, random underline, uniform, left parent, UIT32, left parent, seven, right parent, right parent, right parent, right bracket, right parent, right parent. Okay, now this one, uh, speak, uh, speaker, we add the audio, uh, we add an audio player, and the source for that audio player is a randomized um, index uh, of the types, uh, so long as it's uh, below eight. Or we can use seven. Word speaker dot audio player left parent SCN audio player left parent source colon types left bracket into left parent arc four random underline uniform left parent UIT thirty two left parent seven by parent by parent by parent right bracket right parent right parent. Okay, so this is uh, pretty much the same thing as for the steps, except that we're using the same arc for randomizer, um, um, and actually <clears throat> pointing to the array of uh, type files. Right brace, right brace, new line, right brace, new line, new line. Fun dash left parent left colon SC. So this is pretty much done for it. Save show project navigator project. Na and because the audio layer actually is an extension of the GameView controller, the GameView controller will have to have a new property called Word. GameView.swift, Swift Source, GameView Controller.swift, Swift Source. Move focus to editor ellipses. Slash, new, new line, in America, case down, case, 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 new, case, 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 right, 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 new line. Class GameView, more direction equals, left fridge equals, left fridge source, let ambient, let ambient, let camera node, add outlet, new line. Slash, slash, speech node, instance. Okay. Let speech equals, let speaker equals, SCN, new line. Slash, slash, audio engine component. So the audio engine bar engine colon, bar environment colon. all still there. Slash, slash, filters. Let distortion equals AV audio, let echo equals AV. The distortions and echoes, so because we want the actual voiceover to sound a bit old and retrograde, uh, because we're in an imaginary world, remember? Var speak buffer colon, AV audio PC, var speak player, new line, slash, slash string for words being typed in flush when space bar is pressed. Okay, so this is the property called word, which is a string. Var word equals quote, quote. Uh, in the beginning, it has nothing. So uh, that is going to be the actual carrier or container of each of the words. And what happens is that when we place the space bar, then we're going to tell the word to play and to be placed in the uh, speech dot uh, uh, speak string. And the string is going to be the word. And then we flush the word again into a uh, quote, quote, meaning that there's nothing. New line. Override from the from nib. So this time, when we awake from nib, what we want to do is we also want to load the uh, types. So we have to make sure to add that. Super new line. Speech dot set slash slash load. Load speech left parent right parent. Load typewriter left parent right. Load steps. Load typewriter left parent right parent. So we got load typewriter. So we've loaded it up. That's load steps slash right. left equals SC ending left parent uh, right parent. Everything else is pretty much the same as in tutorial four. New line slash slash create and add camera no dot camera scene dot new line. So uh, camera add the camera into slash the slash place the camera. Camera no dot position equals SC. Let's change the position of the camera. New line slash slash set the scene to the view. 
and set the scene to the self. View. New line. Slash slash allows the user to manipulate the camera. Self. Game view bank. Allows camera control equals true. So self. Okay. So allow camera control equals true, but that's for kind of debugging visually. Frame source position equals true. And we source, all source, the ambience, different uh, source files. Ambient, ambient, scene, scene, dot, scene, dot, root, new line. And we add them into the scene's root node. Fridge position equals SCN, ambient, dot, new line. Speaker dot, position equals new line. Finally, we're putting all the positions of each of the nodes that we want. At this time, what I've done is I put the speaker to 000, SCN vector 3, at position 000, and I also put the camera at 000 because I want to hear uh, the, um, uh, the typewriting centered and just so right next to the camera. Uh, you can put it somewhere else if you want to, if you want to, you know, play around, keep stepping around and uh, listening to the typewriter as you type from the position that you're in. But I set it up as center. Speaker position equals fridge audio player left ambient audio player new line new line for voice and NS speech synthesizer dot print right speech dot rate equals two hundred twenty point zero. So the speech dot rate equals two hundred twenty point zero. That's just the word. Game view dot LDA equals self. Game view dot display equals true. Speech dot LDA equals self. New line engine equals game view audio engine new line right brace. Okay, so now we've got everything. New line. What we want to do now. Full method virus environment equals false. Tip set left brace. If it's environment wire system right brace right brace. So we got the wire system. Right brace. Var mixer colon. AV audio. Var step interval colon. Time interval equals zero point five. Var last interval equals var is moving equals false. Funk render left there under new line. Funk render left new line. Override funky down left there with the new line. Okay. So now, in the override funk key down. Unfold method. We're going to make a few changes. So when the key is pressed. Override funky is pressed. If I move equals zero left there and var colon event dot key code right there and left brace. So if there is an event uh, key code which exists inside the move enumeration, so which is uh, you know the up, down, and left, right arrow. Then we'll just you know uh, continue on with the step procedure. Is moving equals true. Direction equals float to left parent zero point zero. Right brace else left brace. Interpret key events left parent left bracket event right bracket right parent. Okay. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to interpret the key event. Right. Interpret key events left parent left bracket event right bracket right parent. Okay. And interpret key event takes a event, so an NS event, uh, as its argument. Right brace, right brace, new line, override, funk insert, new line, left there, underline. So now, here we uh, come into the interesting part of the keyboard is that most of the interpreter keys, so you know, you would have the tab key, escape key, the function keys, the uh, return key, the backspace key, uh, and a lot of the other uh, modifier keys, uh, you can override what the actual um, uh, application is going to do with it because those are usually used for uh, text editor style uh, editing windows but in this case we don't do that we want to use these keys for our game and it's much easier to actually override them instead of uh, using switch statements uh, which you know over the long haul if you have many different controls and commands uh, it's going to take a long time to let's say reach the worst case scenario that means uh, a letter which uh, ascii code is actually the last New line. so in this case we override Unfold method. Override funk insert new line left there. Underline. Override funk insert new line. All right. New line. Override funk insert new line left there. Underline center colon any right parent left brace. And the sender is any. So this pretty much you can have a completion code. So as soon as you type override funk um, and um, new line. Override funk insert new line left there. Insert new line. Then you'll see inside your uh, completion code um, suggestions that this one exists. Play typewriter left parent and colon true letter colon quote quote right parent. So. What happens is here, uh, we've inserted the new line. So what we want to do is play the typewriter. Uh, the end Boolean is true because it's a return key. Okay, insert new line is actually the return carriage. And uh, the index of it is eight inside the array type. So it points to that last SCN audio source file, uh, object, sorry, uh, which is basically the return carriage, which is the sound of the return carriage. Right brace. New line. Override funk insert text left parent underline insert. Now, insert text. That means any alpha uh, alphanumerical text, uh, once you type that in, it's going to be overwritten. New line. Override funk insert text left parent underline insert string colon. Any right parent left brace. So insert string any. Insert string is basically, it says it's any because you can convert it into a UINT or you can convert it to a string or into a character. It depends on how you actually want to work with those objects. But I would work with them as strings. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the inserted key. Let str equals insert string as string. So str equals insert string as string. So what I do is I downcast it from any object to string. All right. Switch str, left brace. Now switch str, this is where I do my switch statement, and I have two cases. One is if I have 
press the space bar. In that case, what I want to do is I want the word to be spoken and then flush uh, the word variable back into uh, just no string. Case quote, quote, colon. Okay, case quote, space quote. All right. Speech dot speak, left parent, word, right parent. Speech dot speak the word and then flush the word variable. Word equals quote, quote. All right. Default colon. And now the default behavior is going to be any other alphanumerical, you know, whether with a shift or non-shift, uh, then all of the characters are going to be appended to the word variable. Play typewriter, left parent, end colon, false, letter colon, SDR, right parent. Okay, so now play typewriter, which is the function, and we say, well, it's not a return carriage, so we say it's false. That means it's only going to play a randomized uh, typewriter sound. And then the string... Default, play typewriter, left parent, end colon, false, letter colon, SDR, right parent. And the letter is the string. Right brace. Right brace. New line. All right. Because inside that function, it's going to append uh, that string, that new string, into the word. Override. Fun key up left parent with event colon. And key up. Is moving equals false. Direction equals right brace. Right brace. Doesn't new line. do anything. Fun plus left parent left colon. S new line. And we've pretty much done it. Save. So all of these override funk um, uh, after you've interpreted the key event you have a whole list of them that you can use and you know you can pretty much do anything you want with it and that's fine save show project navigator project Na okay so if you're still on tutorial 4 just make sure that you've tutorial actually five, project. included all of the uh, typewriter sounds tutorial 5 group and I'm going to show you ambient mp3 free 2 mp3 carpet 1 mp3 carpet 2 carpet 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 1 0 carriage return mp3 mp3 so audio carriage return mp3 which is a mp3 audio uh I'll what I'll do is I'll play it move focus you editor this so I'll move the focus Xcode to has a window editor. carriage return mp3 vertical splitter tutorial 5 got Xcode Ver carriage return in preview preview jump bar preview so preview no visible preview and we can preview press play maybe no visible preview jump bar jump bar preview no visible preview. Okay, it doesn't seem like... Show symbol navigator, play. symbol navigate, project navigate. Type underline zero, dot mp3, mp3 audio. Okay, here now we have type underline zero up until type underline seven. Type underline one, dot mp3, type underline two, dot type underline three, dot type underline four, type underline five, type underline six, type underline seven, dot mp... So all of these, what you need to do is, you know, uh, press the contextual menu. Tutorial five, group. Menu. Right, so shift... Um, Voice over M. Show and open, open. Show file, new file, add files to tutorial five. Ellipsis. Add files to tutorial five. Project navigator. And free to carpet one. Dot MP3. Car, 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 carpet, carpet, tutorial five. Group. Okay. And free, car, so car, 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 carpet, car, car, carpet, not carpet one zero. Carriage return. We pretty much don't need any um, anything else. So let's just run this. Run. Build succeeded. Okay. Now inside. And. Let's imagine uh, I'm a journalist. Uh, the first one is 5 a.m. in the morning. Everyone else is still on their way in the. S in, wait, were there subways in the 60s? Perhaps. And I'm going to start my first article of the day. Trump. Trump. President Trump. Says North Korea is a danger to. Okay, as you can see, there you go. As I type a word, so I would say cat. Uh, it seems like everything is randomized. If I press space, cat. cat. Right? It has spoken the word and it has flushed uh, the word. And I press enter. And it does the carriage, um, uh, carriage return. Uh, if I maybe moved a bit further. This time it should uh, the sound should come in from the left. Get shorty. Get shorty. Okay, that's a movie I used to like before. Yeah. It was with the I think it was with the guy Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Anyway, so basically this is what you can do with the commands. I've just given you an example so that you can you know kind of play around with it and uh, you know see what you can come up with. Xcode. Stop. So thanks everybody for following this one. Uh, I hope you actually like uh, the format of it. Uh, if you have any issues, please don't hesitate to contact me. It's Antoine, A-N-T-O-I-N-E, at Osiris, so O-S-E-Y-E-R-I-S -E -E dot com. And, uh, you know, if you have some technical issues, like for instance, you're not able to open the project or, you know, you're having difficulties building, 
uh, or running it, or you know maybe you have some other question which goes outside of the scope of this specific tutorial, um, I could answer. Uh, I can't answer all the questions, obviously, because I have a life, but I will try to do my best. All right, guys, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next podcast.